This is one of the the reasons that Russian media bombards the Russian populace with endless propaganda about how literally the West is about to invade, the West is getting ready to nuke Russia. This is literally what they say on TV every day in Russia. The West is about to attack. America is about to drop weapons. They were about to give Ukraine the new the nuclear bomb, etc. Why? Because we know it's not true. They know it's not true. So why do they think this? Well, the reason, or why do they say this rather? The reason they say this is think about it from a a Russian leadership perspective. Uh, During the early 90s, uh, Russia under Boris Yeltsin made overtures, overtures to the West and the West made overtures to Russia. I remember as a kid in a Russian school uh, g- getting cans of spam that was American humanitarian aid. By the way, Russia was not, not defeated in war, right? It wasn't a country that was on the brink of collapse. Well, the Americans were sending, you know, uh, this spam me. And also there was a uh, there was a time when we received huge numbers of chicken legs from the United States, and they were called Bush's legs, Noshki Busha, because he was the one, it was Bush Sr. who oversaw that humanitarian aid program. So there was more cooperation. And if there's cooperation between Russia and the West, if there's trade, if everything's wonderful, the question that people start to ask is, well, why do we need a brutal, murdering, authoritarian dictator that can never be replaced at the ballot box. Wouldn't wouldn't it be better if we had someone a bit more liberal? Wouldn't it be better if we had someone who would also give us, you know, a free press and and a, uh, you know we could have comedy shows that can make fun of stuff and we didn't feel like we were regressing back into the Soviet Union in terms of censorship and what we can and can't say, etc. Well, if people start to get these unfortunate notions, the best way to explain to them why they need you is to present them with an external threat or force that can only be defeated by a strong man leader. That's me, right? And so a lot of this propaganda, that's where it's coming from. uh, And it's done knowingly, and it maps onto a lot of pre-existing sort of historical trauma in the Russian mindset and the Russian psyche uh, about being invaded. If you look at the map of Russia, 80% of the Russian population lives in about 20% of the westernmost part of the country, uh, which is mostly plains there's no large mountain ranges there's no deep rivers there's no natural obstacles to an invasion and of course russia has been invaded over and over and over and over and decimated by those invasions whether that was hitler or napoleon before him or the mongols before them and or the poles and the lithuanians and the swedes and the finns it's happened over and over and over again so the fear of a foreign threat is there and you can capitalize on that by presenting yourself as the only solution to these evil invaders who are about to come. Uh, 